Police say when that speeding car lost control, it hit a tree and ended Nicole Denny's life. Her 16 year old boyfriend was behind the wheel. Local 12 News reporter Larry Davis is live at the accident scene in Hamilton with new information on the investigation. Larry. Hi, Kit. Well, police do have a lot of questions about this tragic crash, which ended with a car slamming into the tree just behind me here. Among those questions, who really stole the vehicle? Were they being chased by someone else? And why were 16 and 14 year old kids out at one o'clock in the morning on a school day? I can tell you I've been doing this 35 years. It's one of the most totally destroyed cars I've ever seen. It took a, a uh, they were in a four wheel drift and the, the tree came in through the passenger side door. These Hamilton Police Department still photos show the horrific crash scene at Mosler and Cornell. Investigators say the 16-year-old driver who did not have a license drove the stolen car into the side of a tree. Police say the driver's passenger and girlfriend, 14-year-old Nicole Denny, was killed. Again, you got a 16-year-old and a 14-year-old on a school night involved in an accident one, a little after 1 a.m. The driver survived and is cooperating with police. Uh, he's very lucky. If, if you look at the car, there is no reason that he should have survived either. Today, the only evidence of a crash was the bark peeled from the tree. Police found no skid marks at the scene. Nicole Denny was an eighth grader at Hopewell Junior High School in Westchester. School officials say she was popular, and the students there are devastated over the loss of a classmate. When she's been at Hopewell Junior, she is, she's never been a concern behaviorally or academically with us. Um, she's, um, she's always come to school um, ready to learn and, uh, and, been, and worked well with her peers and, and her teachers. Police do not believe the 16-year-old driver was responsible for stealing the car from a Fairfield Township home, but the end result was tragic nevertheless. You know, you see a 14-year-old girl, you see a 16-year-old boy, um, life ahead of him. You know, having to tell a 16-year-old that his 14-year-old girlfriend's dead never gets any easier. And Kit Sergeant Bunn says that the 16-year-old boy told him that the two were just driving around just before the crash. Now, the impact of that crash, as you saw in those pictures, had the car slam into it from this side, and then the car actually spun around the tree. Now, uh, one neighbor I talked to in the area said that she was up last night. She heard a loud boom. And then all she heard was screaming. Live in Hamilton, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Kit, back to you. Thank you, Larry. And that 16-year-old driver is still in the hospital. Charges are pending against him.